God is ready. He has something that you haven't seen, but it's dependent on your obedience. Will you do what he's asking you to do? It may be to forgive someone that did you wrong. That doesn't make sense. They hurt you. You have a right to be bitter. That will keep you from the best wine. It may be to step out in faith when you don't feel qualified. To teach the class. To start the business. To mentor that young person. Or maybe like my friend, it's to keep a good attitude when you're not being treated right. To stay on the high road. To let God fight your battles. It's easy to try to pay people back. Make them look bad. Do to them what they're doing to you. Trust God to be your vindicator. He can vindicate you better than you can vindicate yourself. This man that was so against my friend, so dishonest, not long ago, he was fired by the team in a very public way. Everything he had been doing, the schemes, the backbiting, the jealousy, that all came to light. Now he's out and my friend is in. Not in the same position, but in something much better. People can't stop your destiny. Closed doors can't stop your purpose. Bad grace can't keep you from what God has ordained. When that wine runs out, keep doing what God asks you to do. Keep being good to people. Keep giving, serving, expecting. The wine running out is a sign that the best wine is coming. There was a widow in the Old Testament. Her husband had died, and now she was living alone with her son. They did fine for a while, going along, no problems. Then a drought came. Their crops dried up. Their income went down. She used the funds her husband had left. Now those funds had run out. It was a perfect storm. She had no income, no savings, no food, no groceries. Everything came to an end. And she was preparing her last meal. She and her son were going to eat it. They had already accepted the fact that this would be it. The prophet Elijah saw her out picking up sticks to make a fire. He said, do me a favor. I'm hungry. Will you make me something to eat? I'm sure she thought, you've got to be kidding. She said, Elijah, I promise you all I have is a little flour, a little oil. We've exhausted all of our resources. We just have enough for my son and myself. Once I cook this meal, we're done. Elijah asked her to do something that seemed selfish. He said, go ahead and make that last meal. But make me a little loaf of bread first. She could have thought, we're about to starve to death, and you want me to feed you before I feed myself and my son? I'm not going to do that. Instead, she took a step of faith and cooked him a meal first. Elijah ate that meal and said, the Lord God of Israel says, there will always be plenty of flour and plenty of oil in your cabinet until the time the Lord sends rain and the crops begin to produce again. From that day forward, week after week, month after month, for three and a half years, the oil never ran out. The flour container was never empty. She had supernatural provision. She went from running out to running over. The running out is a sign that running over is coming. You may feel like you're running out of strength today. You're weary from everything that's going on. Get ready. Running over strength is coming. Strength that you've never felt. Energy like you've never seen. You're running out of resources. Business has slowed down. Get ready. Running over resources are headed your way. You're running out of favor, not getting any good breaks, stuck in your career. Because you honor God, running over favor is coming. Running over blessing. Running over opportunities. That means you have so many opportunities, you can't take them all. You have to choose which ones you want. Elijah said, Make me a meal first. God is saying, keep me first place in your life. When you wake up in the morning, don't meet with anyone until you first meet with God. Take time to thank Him for the day. Thank Him for who He is. Thank Him that He's the giver of all good things. Your protector, your provider, your healer, your way maker. All through the day, under your breath, you can talk to God. Lord, thank you for watching over my children. Lord, help me to do good at work today. Lord, thank you for giving me wisdom. The scripture says, if you'll acknowledge God in all your ways, he'll crown your efforts with success. And every time God asks you to do a hard thing, that means there's a big blessing coming. It was a sacrifice for this lady to make Elijah a meal first. That took trust, courage, faith. It wasn't easy for the worker to go fill the water pots with water. God, we're telling them, you're wasting your time. They had to 
fight off doubt, fight off negative thoughts. But when you choose to obey, when you do the right thing when it's hard, you're setting yourself up for God to show out in your life. To see supernatural faith, supernatural healing, supernatural provision. A few years after I started pastoring, the church began to grow. We needed a larger auditorium. My father said that he would never move Lancourt. I was new. I wasn't about to rock the boat. So I started looking for land around our other location. We found a hundred acres. It was right off the freeway, about two miles from the old location. It seemed perfect. A few months later, we went to close on the property, signed all the papers. The secretary walked out and said, I'm sorry, the owner sold this property last night. I couldn't believe it. He didn't keep his word. I was so discouraged. I went home and told Victoria. She started preaching to me one of my messages. You know, this closed door means God has something better. We're going to stay in faith. I didn't want to hear that. I wanted the property. A couple of months later, we found another 100 acres. It seemed like a better location, had better access from the freeway. I knew that's why God shut the other door. We went to close on the property, and the same thing happened. They sold it to someone else. We were running out of options. There weren't any more large tracts of land off the freeway in that area. But sometimes God won't step in until you run out of options. That old wine has to run out. I was tempted to live stressed and worried. I could hear that still small voice saying, Joel, trust me, I'm still in control. I didn't see how it could happen, but God has ways we've never thought of. His plan for your life is better than your own. What we think is the best many times is far less than what God has in mind. I was hoping to find land to build an auditorium. I never dreamed God would give us one already built on the busiest freeway, the most visible, the most attended, one of the most prestigious facilities in our city, the former compact center. I was complaining about running out of options all the while God had something better than I ever dreamed. Can I tell you, you haven't seen your best days. You may feel stuck, doors have closed, the wine has run out. That all happened for a reason. It had to run out so you could see the best wine. The best part of your life is not behind you. The best part of your life is the next part of your life. You haven't seen, heard, or imagined what God has in store. You wouldn't be discouraged over that door that closed if you knew what God was about to open. You wouldn't be stressed over that deal that fell through if you knew your compact center was up ahead. You would put God first place with no problem. You would make that prophet a meal. You would obey if you knew supernatural provision is coming. Sometimes we think that we're running out of time. It's too late to accomplish my dream. I missed my chance, Joel. I made too many mistakes. I'm too old. That's the way Caleb probably felt. He was one of the spies that came back from the promised land and told Moses that they were well able to take the land, that they could go in at once. But the negative report from the other ten spies caused everyone to get discouraged. And they turned around and went back into the desert. Caleb was 40 years old at the time. For 40 years, he wandered in the desert. The interesting thing is, it wasn't his fault. He had faith. He was courageous. He was obedient. It looked like other people stopped his dream. Their negative report kept him from his destiny. The good news is, what God started, he's going to finish. What he promised, he's going to bring to pass. At 85 years old, God said, Caleb, I haven't forgotten about you. I said you go into the promised land, you're still going to go in. There were three giants living on that land. Caleb could have said, God, give me another place. Those people are too big. I'm too old now. No, don't settle for a watered-down version of your dream. At 85, Caleb said, God, I still want that now. He went out and defeated those giants and made it into the promised land. It's not too late for you to become all you were created to be. God has not forgotten about the dreams he put in your heart. You're not running out of time. You're running into time. God is ordering your steps. Opportunities that didn't happen years earlier, you didn't miss it. It was at the right time. The door had to close. The people had to be against you. The business had to not make it. It was all setting you up for the best one. God saves the best for next. I believe and declare you're about to come in to some best 
best opportunity, best relationship, best health, best resources, like that widow woman. Because you keep God first place, you're going to go from running out to running over. From not enough to more than enough. Your latter day will be better than your former day. Get ready. The best is next. In Jesus' name. If you receive it, can you say amen? I'd like to give you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Would you pray with me? Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that simple prayer, we believe you got born again. We'd love to send you some free information. Just text the number on the screen, or you can go to our website. It's the New Beginnings course. And I hope you'll get into a good Bible-based church and keep God first place. Victoria and I'll be right back to speak a blessing over you. This August, as a thank you for your support of our ministry, Joel and Victoria would like to send you a copy of Joel's new 31-day guided journal, The Power of Proverbs. Their personal journal will help you focus your attention, your work, and decision-making on the biblical wisdom and promises of God. Start declaring blessings on day one and experience more peace, joy, and favor today. God wants to give you wisdom for every decision. When you put it first, he'll guide you along the best path for your life. This daily devotional is a great way to start your day. I hope you'll request your copy. It will help you make great decisions. Request your copy of The Power of Proverbs today at joelrufin.com or call 800-565-0772. Your support is making a difference around the world. Thank you so much for your prayer, your generosity. You are helping to change people's lives. And a special thank you to our Champion of Hope partners for all you do to make the ministry possible. We have received incredible stories from people who have been impacted by this message of hope. Messages from Zambia, Brazil, New Zealand, South Africa. Testimonies of people who have overcome setbacks and difficulties and are now growing in their faith. Your giving makes all of this possible. Victoria and I pray for you and your family every day, believing that 2022 is going to be a bountiful, productive, faith-filled year. Stay in faith. God has awesome things in store. Until we meet again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May He show you His favor and have mercy on you, and may He watch over you and give you His peace. Stay connected and receive daily inspiration by following Joe Lundstein on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Watch new messages on YouTube. You can also download the daily podcast six days a week. Follow Joe Lundstein today. The Huckabee Shop is the perfect place to buy products that celebrate your patriotism. We have great USA-made products, and there's something for everyone. Support your favorite show. Visit shop.huckabee.tv. If you think eating heart-healthy food to support your blood pressure has to take a lot of time and hassle, then you need to try Super Beats Heart Shoes. The first and only heart shoot with a unique polyphenol compound that makes supporting your healthy blood pressure convenient, while also helping reduce oxidative stress, so you feel more energized. That's why it's the top-selling superfood brand at GNC. It gets me going. It gets my circulation flowing, and I have it with me all through the day. It's fantastic. I can stick it in my bag. I can stick it in my car. I love that. It's just something that's healthy for me, and it's maintaining healthy blood pressure. What makes Superbeats polyphenols so different from other antioxidants? In a leading clinical study, they were shown nearly two times as effective at promoting normal blood pressure as a healthy lifestyle alone. In my 31 years of helping people maintain healthy blood pressure, I've never seen a polyphenol compound this effective. Superbeats antioxidants help support healthy blood pressure and help your body produce more energy. Now I feel like I have this wonderful reserve of energy. My blood pressure is even more healthy. I'm loving it. Call or go to buysuperbeats.com to find out how you can get a free 30 day supply of heart juice, plus free shipping with your first order. And for a limited time, we just send you a free 30 days of our delicious new tart cherry metabolic gummies. The multi benefit super food that not only helps reduce inflammation from physical activity, it helps support your immune health and weight management, all by promoting metabolic health at the cellular level. 
just two ago to do the antioxidant equivalent of 16 ounces of expensive tart cherry juice without any sugar. And they're yours to try absolutely free. That's over $30 in total free gifts, all backed by our 90-day money-back guarantee. This special direct offer is not available in stores, so try Super Beats Heart Juice today. To order, call 1-800-775-4023 or visit iSuperBeats.com. Call 1-800-775-4023. That's 1-800-775-4023. Act now. It's a long way until the next presidential race. Yeah. I don't know how you see those images and it doesn't bring a sense of joy to your heart. When you're given an opportunity, your obligation is to make it the right time. The Spirit himself will guide you into all truth. This presentation is brought to you by the Friends of the Amazing Facts Ministry. At four feet tall, the emperor penguin is the largest penguin species in the world. Every spring, these majestic birds travel up to 75 miles inland on the Arctic ice pack, walking and sliding on their bellies, to arrive at one of the most desolate and remote places on Earth. Once the female lays an egg, her male companion quickly rolls it onto his feet and covers it with a fold of his fat, feathery fur to keep it warm. While the females will eat the feet in the ocean for about two months, the males huddle together in clusters for protection from the frigid wind, incubating the eggs on their feet while enduring the brutally cold, dark winter. Emperor penguins demonstrate some of the most patient devotion and warm love for their young of any creatures, and they do this in the coldest conditions on Earth where temperatures can drop to 85 below zero. The Bible says in the last days, because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But your love can stay warm even in a cold world. As a Christian, are you warming those around you with God's love? At the heart of all of this is the question, is your Christianity real? Join me now, friends, as we look at what the Bible has to say on this very important topic. I heard one time about um, this mission organization that was placing missionaries in different parts of the world. They had a unique way of testing the missionaries. The candidate was told to arrive at 3 in the morning for the exam. 3 in the morning. And so there's one candidate. He came at 3 in the morning. He went to the room where he was supposed to meet the examiner. And he waited there until 5 in the morning. Nobody there. So he waited a little longer until 8 in the morning. Finally, the examiner came in at 8 in the morning. He said, um, can you please spell the word baker for me? He said, baker, B-A-K-E-R. It's a very good. He said, now can you please tell me how much it is 2 times 2? He said, 4. He said, very good. He said, I, I think that the mission board is going to accept you as a missionary. And he got up and he left. That afternoon, the examiner went and met with the mission board. He said, you know, the candidate that I had an appointment with, he said, I think he's going to make a good missionary. So I tested him on self-denial. He got out of a warm bed on a cold night while I know he was still tired, and he came. So I tested him on patience. I made him then wait from 3 in the morning until 8 in the morning before I showed up. I then tested him on humility. I asked him questions that any child would understand, and he was not offended. Then I asked him a simple equation of addition, and he answered it correctly <laughs> and politely. And he said, he's got what it takes to be a missionary. It's going to require self-denial, perseverance, patience, humility. And so there were tests. Well, there are tests in the Bible. There, if you're saying, Doug, how do I know if my Christianity is real? I want to know. Can I know? Good news. There's a test. The Bible actually gives you several tests. And so we're going to ask a very important question today. Is my Christianity real? And is there a way to know? You know, the Bible tells us that if we are going to do something about uh, counterfeit Christianity, or if our Christianity isn't real, first you've got to identify that, is that right? And so there's some preventative screening that happens. Now, I don't know if you've been to the doctor for a regular checkup, but 
if you go for a checkup, you don't always want to wait until you're sick and then go to the doctor. As you get a little older, they say, you ought to go do some preventative health screening. Something simple like a blood pressure check. You can prevent death by simple tips like that. Um, a blood test. They can tell you about your blood sugar. That is, diabetes can kill a person and slip into a cover. Um, it can tell you about your cholesterol levels. It can help you prevent a heart attack. A whole scope of different things can be determined by that cancer. And so doing some preventive screening can save your life. How many of you have known somebody and, and they came down with some terrible terminal disease and then somebody will say, if they'd only had that checked a little sooner, they could have done something, but they waited too long. You ever heard that? They waited until it was too late. Right now, praise the Lord, if you're alive and hearing my voice, you probably have not breathed away the Holy Spirit, and it's not too late for you to ask those important and penetrating questions. Questions: Is my Christianity real? Because there will come a time when it will be too late. So now's the time to find out how sad it will be on that day to find out that you are self-deceived. That you, you figured, well, this was the world standard of Christianity, and I measured up to the world standard, and so I thought I was going to make it. But to hear the words from Jesus say, I'm sorry, I don't know you. I can't think of anything more frightening than that. And so if you're going to know, don't you want to know? Or what did you want to know soon enough to make a difference? Now, some people get angry when I talk like this. Uh, and uh, they reproach me and they say, Pastor Doug, you are so works of behavior oriented. We are not supposed to be looking at ourselves. We're just supposed to be looking at Jesus. And it is true. A Christian principally wants to fix their eyes on Jesus. But what I'm saying to you is biblical. And we're a Bible church. Listen to what Paul says. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. There is a time for us to scrutinize, to test, to examine. I'm going to come back to this verse, but I want to show you it's not the only one, because you need at least two or three witnesses here. Lamentations 3.40. Let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Talk about a search. In the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. So, do I have your support that there is a time, the Bible says, that every now and then we ought to do a little bit of introspection and then figure out if there needs to be some changes. Now, you, you don't want to be driving a car looking in the rear view mirror all the time. The rear very important, but if you spend all your time looking in the rear view mirror, you're going to have an accident. You've got to be looking where you're going. So principally, a Christian wants to be forward thinking, amen? Right? You want to look ahead. You want to keep your eyes on Jesus. You want to keep your eyes on the goal. But every now and then, you better check your mirrors. You better take uh, a situational awareness, is what they call it, and make sure that you're where you're supposed to be. You're not drifting into the wrong lane, or someone's not coming up behind you, going to plow into you. And so there needs to be a self-test. The heart needs to be changed. We need to know that we're converted. If our hearts are changed, if we are born again, there'll be a difference. So how do you know if you're a real Christian? Number one, you can start right with the most important, love. Do you love the Lord supremely? What's the great commandment? Love the Lord with a little bit of your heart. What percentage? 85%. Gold. Al Miller started our farm press and start today's slow roasting turkey for an incredible flavor. Then double seal every slice for freshness. The results, they speak for themselves. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. Buy the pack for pack from WM. It's a dumpster in a bag. Fill it with up to 3,300 pounds of household debris. At half the size of a large dumpster, it's perfect for doing it yourself. You fill it up, we pick it up, whenever you're ready. From cleanup to renovation. Buy, fill, and stop.
available online and at home for delivery service. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, roof chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more love. Tyson. Just six dollars your way to like Burger King and a triple win. Your choice of a bacon double cheeseburger or a rodeo double cheeseburger. Win. Plus fries, win. And chicken fries, win. All new six dollars your way deal. It's a win, win, win. Only at Burger King. Miss Ball John Bean has some less to fix than she bought a calling or a bring in milk. Are you stalking her? No, she Instagrammed it. The first one with a calling. Both. How did she tell the guest Instagram? Or that? Christy, why don't you let her get through this in her own way? Hey, she's the one who told me if we bury our feelings, it could lead to a rebound. It could. And guess what? You have no control over someone else's drinking. So let this go. You let it go. Does Marjorie have a sponsor? Yes. Does she work the program? Yes. Does she have a higher power? Yes. You think it's yes. I know. Do you know where to go? Okay. Your lips say okay, but those crazy eyes say I'm going to get under the hood of this agent and rip it up. Is that obvious? How are you ever a gambler with a poker face like that? That's not a poker face. This is my poker face. That's very offensive. Just played with flowers anywhere. Oh, she had the flower service and not one tear. She thought she was going for a tissue at one point, but she just had a bug in her eye. It's healthy. She's moving on. But when I go, I expect you to throw yourself on the coffin and curse God for keeping me so young. Don't worry, when the time comes, I've got a whole performance lined up. Great. Wait. He gave a beautiful eulogy. So many Victor Fun facts. I mean, who knew he was an amateur magician? I did. We had a long dinner here one night, which was lovely. We made an entire Saturday night go poof. <laughs> I just remember, I stuck my wife into half. Oh. I hope it's a beer. Yeah, she keeps a six pack of beer in her bedroom. I used to keep a keg and a tank of nitrous in my bedroom. It's unbelievable. Don't judge, you did stuff too. Talking of Marjorie, it is odd. She cried more when her cat died. I'm officially worried. The only thing she got upset about at the funeral was when those bag types started warming up for the next service. I think that's it all of These were Victor. I thought she might like him. A velour tracksuit? I have always wanted one of these. Now you have six of them. You're too sweet. He's never outside the house. Special place you want to put the urn? Maybe by your bedside so you'll feel like you care of me? No. This will be fine. Seriously? Next to the Raven brand? It's only temporary. Victor wanted his ashes spread around the apple orchard where he proposed to me. Huh? When are you going to do it? I don't know. It's a long drive. I'll get to it. If you like, I'll go with you. I'd like to see where Victor proposed. Maybe we can all go. Yeah, great! Mom? I changed my mind. Never outside. Just never. <laughs> and yes to whatever you're talking about. I didn't know Victor was into Cuban cigars. I did. Again, epic dinner. Check it out. Smoke great. Oh. <laughs> Victor used to smoke one of these every night. Oh, Marjorie. So many memories. But everywhere you look, you see reminders of your life together. Uh huh. No more Christmases. No more crossword puzzles in bed. Reel it in. Why did men get cigars? I say we take these and get them spanked. Forget spanks. Give them mammograms. Ooh, how about menstrual cramps? Yeah, or deep rectal spasms. Why did Victor propose to you in our own church? Actually, it's a very romantic story. Ooh, yeah, the tissues. 
We were driving with a bed and breakfast in Carmel. And we hit a huge pop that got twisted up in the axle, so we had to pull over. Boy, it's like a Harlem romance. Anyway, when uh, Victor reached out to the car to try to yank out what was left of the poor thing, the ring fell out of his jacket. I was so thrilled I said yes before he even asked. And it all happened in front of a lovely apple orchard? No, that's where we buried the pot. <laughs> when I go, I want to be buried in my garden with my... You have a garden full of dead cats. I'm eating zucchini from that morning. Come here. For the record, you're not cremating me. That way, when the zombie apocalypse happens, I can crawl out of my grave and eat all your bacon. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be a little lightheaded. Is he tired? Sad? Mad? Bored? I mean, she kind of always looks bored. <laughs> hungry. The answer was hungry. You'll play. Real good. Real food. Real smooth. So now it's day. Shall I take an action? Google next color. Gorgo? From your TV. Which means no more pausing your show for some lame delivery that's like not even for you.
Attention diabetes patients. If you or a loved one experienced a serious injury or complication due to a defective Medtronic Minimed insulin pump, you may be entitled to significant compensation. In October 2021, the FDA announced a Class 1 recall for the Minimed insulin pump. Some of the injuries and complications associated with the Minimed insulin pump include hypo and hyperglycemia, loss of consciousness, seizures, ketoacidosis, hospitalization, coma, even death. Don't wait. Call our helpline right now to see if you qualify. Seriously, who inhales cigars? I'm going to add it. Try to inhale everything. Well, this can't be right. It has to be. Is it possible they built the Costco around the apple orchard? How could it just be gone? Okay, let it out from here. Carrying around her dead husband, you don't seem very upset. Of course I'm upset. Then why are you showing it? How many times have you told us keeping things bottled up is a great way to end it with a bottle in your hand? You have to just like a woodpecker, you're gonna be pecking at me until I feel the way you want me. I'm just trying to help. You wanna help? Leave me alone. Audrey, I feel the one Me and her. Did we mess that up? Yes, you did. I'm not going to say that. This may have been a mistake. I'm not going to What did you say to Marjorie? What else, Nosy Nancy? Hey! I know what she said. Can you tell me? Mom, shut up. What's going on? You be pissed off Marjorie. Is that why no one's talking? Who do you think? Can someone throw me a light in the I was just trying to help. Sorry, I don't know how I made that happen. Good lord, would you all just stop? What's going on? They're texting about me. What do I need to you know what, Marjorie, we were. And everyone agrees with me. What? No. Huh. Hey, I'm missing all the action. That's why I need one of those self driving cars. There are self driving cars? How long was I in prison? Fine, Marjorie, I'll shut up. Go ahead and grieve any way you want. I'm not grieving. That's the problem. Finally! I mean, go on. You know what my first feeling was when I heard the news? First thing that went through my head? Relief. Not shock, not sadness. Relief. I could totally understandable that you were suffering. Oh, I was relieved for me. I don't know how many times I pulled up to the house and didn't want to go inside. I felt like a monster. How are you a monster? You are always there for him. Then what's wrong with me? I cried 
war over my cat. There was some discussion then. Marjorie, I hear there's a lot at the hospital. Were people are sick for a long time, their families mourn them long before they're gone. Huh. Where was that knocking 150 miles ago? I actually said it for you all to see. Huh? Are you an ounce of pizza? Yeah, that's fine. The point is, it doesn't mean you can get that watermelon in there. Huh? Thank you, Penny. You think you can get the watermelon in there now? Wait a minute. She's helpful and I'm not? No, it's ridiculous. Amazing. Get ready for one last hurrah. Yeah, it's the second one down anyway. Yeah, you'll see the room. Reduce joint symptoms in adults with active psoriatic arthritis. Some patients even felt less fatigued. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Trip 5 may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you have any infection or symptoms, or if you had a vaccine or plans. Emerge Tremphiant with Tremphia. Ask your doctor about Tremphia today. Vitamin gummy vitamins. Where do you get the peaches from? Maybe because it's a fusion of healthy vitamins and delicious fruit flavors? Fusion? Like a karate door. It's probably the healthy delicious thing. Mmm, vitamin fusion. Nothing starts your day like a great shower. But wait, overnight your shower head is a breeding ground for germs and bacteria. According to a recent study, that first glass of hot water in the morning can be packed with dangerous pathogens. Wake up to AquaCare, the breakthrough handheld shower head with antimicrobial nozzles that inhibit the growth of mold, mildew, and bacteria inside, giving you a clean, luxurious, powerful shower every time. The secret is Germ Shield antimicrobial technology that works 24-7 at a molecular level to protect AquaCare nozzles from bacterial contamination. Ordinary shower head nozzles clog and lose water pressure, but AquaCare anti-clog nozzles remain clog free for superior water pressure and flow with eight amazing settings from drenching rain to pulsating massage and a convenient water saving pause mode you can use aquacare as a handheld or an overhead shower it installs in minutes no tools needed and no other shower head can do this just flip the head and aquacare turns into a power wash use the fan spray to instantly rinse off soap or the tar Target jet to blast away that stubborn scum buildup without setting foot in your shower. And it's ideal for pets. AquaCare is a complete shower hygiene system for your entire family. Call or go online to get your AquaCare with Germ Shield for the manufacturer's direct price of just $29.99. With an amazing lifetime warranty, it's the last shower head you'll ever need. Order right now and we'll instantly upgrade your order with an extra long stainless steel hose and a low reach wall bracket. Ideal for children and seniors. Yours absolutely free. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. You get it all. An incredible value for one low price. Call or go online to buyaquacare.com. Order now. Shop for back to school with the lowest prices of the season. Right now at Kohl's, get Jumping Beans Kids Clothes starting at $6.99. Save on the softest jeans from the big one and get super cute women's jeans for senior low prices. Plus, earn full cash. Kohl's. So, six hour drive and we just ended up in a different part of the kitchen. Uh, Did Victor have a second take or thing? Did he run over any other animals on the way to doing something romantic? Uh, I think I'm going to keep the food for now. Next to the sugar and flour, that's a bad biscuit waiting to happen. Uh, I'm just not ready to let him go. Take all the time you want. I will. Thank you. I'm really lucky to have you. Oh, you. Excuse me. Bob Gatt needs a little loving. He's Victor's favorite. Great.
Christy, I changed my mind. I don't want to be buried. I want to be cremated. Why? So I can be with you forever. Or a sprinkle on the freeway will be.